Good morning! It is 6.10 in the morning on this Monday. Welcome back to another work vlog. If you're new here, my name is Heaven. I'm a state auditor and this week actually kicks off our busy season. A lot of people ask me why my busy season is in the fall and not in the spring like most auditors. That's because our government clients year ends are 6.30, June 30th, so then they prepare their financial statements in the summer and we come and audit them in the fall and we have to have it all done by December 31st. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy couple months. This is my fourth busy season. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm slightly worried about this week specifically because last week was a short week right after Labor Day. I only worked four days and it was a really hard week. It was very mentally draining. I had a lot of meetings. It was just stressful and that was a short week. So I'm going from a short week to an extra long week. <laughs> We're supposed to be working 47 this week, which it's not gonna be like tax season. So unrelatable content, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Also you guys, look at this mug that my best friend Amy is selling. She just opened up an Etsy shop selling some mugs to represent 2020. Not that we all need a reminder of this year, but I just love it so much. I'll leave a link to her Etsy shop in the description box below in case you guys want a mug and support a small business. I'm gonna log on here at 6.30 in about 10 minutes and my goal is a 10 hour work day. So will I be able to do it? I don't know, stay tuned. It's 9 a.m. I'm gonna take a little walking break and go check my mail and get some outdoor time. Come check on my pretty car, make sure she's out here behaving. It's 3 o'clock. I have passed my seven and a half hour day. But since we're working overtime this week, I'm gonna have to gear up. So I'm gonna take a little walk to get my blood flowing because I am tired. It is my nap time, y'all. Usually I log right off of work and take like a 30 minute nap. Yeehaw! Oh. All right, did I make it 10 hours today? No? but I made it nine and a half and that's close. I'm, I'm very impressed with myself. I decided I'm gonna try and clean out this closet. Stresses me out. This is basically everything from my parents' house that is mine and some extra stuff that I've just thrown in here that I don't know what to do with. There's Guitar Hero throwback, luggage that 2020 doesn't need, my huge sleeping bag and backpack for Africa that got rescheduled. And there's a lot of stuff in this room that I can sell on Facebook Marketplace safely or take it to Goodwill and donate or throw away. And I really need to go through this closet. I'm just tired of looking at it. It's been like in the back of my mind for the past several months and I'm just tired of it being there. So I need to clean this up. And work today was really good. It was just a little draining. I just, I don't know. It's a lot, but it's okay. It was a good day. Right now, here's the stack of stuff that I might be able to sell because everything's in good condition. This bag is my PSP back when PlayStation Portable was a thing. Don't know if I'll get any money out of it. Yeah, random trash can. I'm also gonna get it rid of of this print and put a US scratch off map that my sister got me for Christmas where you scratch off all the states you've been in. It's literally September and I still haven't hung that up. This is the stuff I'm keeping, especially my head. <laughs> this is the throwaway stuff. This is the technology that needs to be safely disposed. Also LOL the fact that I went to a private university and everyone had a Mac except for me. So I put an Apple sticker on my Acer. And this is a box I need to untangle all these cords. Random jewelry hanger. It's stressing me out you guys. All right, I'm running late for Bible study. It's at seven, it's a little, oh, it's almost 640. I'm straight home from Bible study. It is nine o'clock on the dot. Oh my word, I forgot I completely destroyed my room. And we are not gonna be sleeping with this guy sitting here. I will have a full blown panic. Oh my God, looks like he got shot. That's lovely. This is just gonna, I'm not gonna sleep well. I'm gonna be stressed about this. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Good morning. I am very tired today. This is struggling. At 6.45, I'm hoping to log on at 7, and I also hope to stay awake, because I really hope this coffee kicks in soon. I didn't go to sleep until after midnight, per usual. So today's Tuesday. I have a video call with my audit team at like 10 question mark I don't know and my hour just called me yesterday and was like we're here to remind you about your appointment tomorrow and I was like what appointment I'm planning on coming in for my shots and she was like oh yeah the doctor wants to check up on your shots so apparently I have a doctor's appointment today <laughs> so it's at 3 15 I need to leave by 2 30 so if I can work from 7 to 2 30 and not take a lunch break then I can get a seven and a half hour day in and I'm supposed to be working tens every day but as you guys can see it's kind of a challenge <laughs> about to have my team meeting but I think I'm gonna be late because I have to get this investment 
for confirmation and the company is only letting me log in one time to save all the documents I need. Everything's encrypted. You have to have a passphrase, a password, a security question, a login, all just to see this document. Accounting prompts. That was pretend glasses in case you're unaware. Maybe we can. There's heaven. Yeah, sorry, I'm here. <laughs> Did you give everybody your autograph this morning since you're the video person and no. recruiting everybody for the office? I ain't giving no autograph. <laughs> I don't know where I last left you guys, but it's 2.30 and I need to log off because I have an allergy appointment. And tomorrow I decided I'm going to work at the office just because these long days at home are, they're hard. I kind of cap out at seven and a half hours of like good solid performance and then it just gets lazy to be honest. I'm gonna see if I can work at the office at least tomorrow, maybe the rest of the week. I have one coworker there at the office, but even if nobody's there, just to be dressed up, pack my lunch, kind of be more regimented and just have it more together, I guess. <laughs> because I have a lot of work to do for this audit. Specifically, my sections are big and very important. There's just gonna be a, a big learning curve on this audit specifically for me. There are just some sections that even with the budgeted hours, there's room for error or being slow or having late days and you're still able to get it done or some sections that are just easier to get this information you need easier to contact the staff easier to understand <laughs> and I'm auditing the investments and endowments for my client which wouldn't be a big deal at most of our clients but our client is the largest in the state so <laughs> it's a lot of money and the lady that did it for us on the audit the past two years is on a different audit client this year because we actually had an unexpected debt of one of our auditors. It was a health issue that he was unaware of. So she needed to take over his audits and take over his responsibilities because she needed her expertise elsewhere. So yeah, I had to step up to the plate sooner than I would like to, but I'm here and using that CPA to the best of its works. So yeah, when y'all ask me if I'm using my CPA at work or if it was necessary getting it as a state auditor when it's not required, I'll definitely say that yes, I'm using my CPA license. Kind of wish I wasn't. I wish I still had my old sections of the audit that I understand and I can kind of get a little mental break after this last audit. This federal audit I just finished that was like a nightmare <laughs> to do. That was all by myself and it was so hard but I'm stronger because of it and I'm able to challenge myself with this audit this fall. It's all meant to be. It will all work out and I've been here three years now so it's time that I take it up a couple notches even though I feel like I skipped some rungs on the ladder. I'm being trusted way more than I feel like I should be with these sections but it's all Right. It's gonna be okay guys. It's gonna be okay. And she tries to convince herself that it's gonna be okay. All right That was a lot of talking for a vlog that I'm trying to do over five days and not keep it over 20 minutes But it's probably gonna be a long vlog per usual after my elder shots I'm gonna stop by the post office one of you guys wanted to buy this from me So I was like, okay and one of you guys wanted a finance calculator, which LOL, I've literally never used. I'll show you guys the magic of this purse here in a second. I'm also crossing my fingers so I can take a nap at my parents' house after my shots. So as you can tell, it's it's a gray black color, like without any light on it. But with the sunlight, it kind of has colorful tints. It also folds and molds with anything you have in it, which I think is so cool. So yeah, when you have the flash on it, it is super colorful. I'll insert a photo so you guys can see the full effect. Also, it came with a wallet, so selling that too, both with it. And it zips all the way closed, which is definitely a thing that you need in a purse. My current purse does not do that. It has a magnet top, has handles, and the strap. It's already sold, so I don't know why I'm advertising it. But I will leave a link in the description box below. I got it off Amazon. It is a really cool purse, super unique. Oh, I just bleached this this week. Again, it smells so good. Got my appointment done. It was kind of a waste of time to be honest, but they got to make money off our copay somehow. Hey Siri, open Google Maps. Hmm, I'm afraid I can't do that while you're in the car. <gasps> when else would I need a freaking map? Well, hello, Princess Judge. You may go inside, baby. Yo, my old car. Where's the boy? Here's the boy. Hey, buddy. you <laughs> Any girl. I got a little tiny baby cat nap in at my parents' house for like 15 minutes. The dogs were not letting me sleep, but they got some shut-eye too. Now I'm home cooking some ground beef. I think I'm gonna make some tacos. I don't have all the stuff for spaghetti, even though I really wanted spaghetti. Happy hump day, 
you guys, it's 6.25. I'm gonna pack my lunch, grab a granola bar for breakfast, make my coffee, and head out the door. And yeah, I'm in real clothes today. How we feeling? If you wanna know what I packed for lunch, this is a ham and cheese sandwich with some mustard, cheese stick, strawberry Greek yogurt, and then I've got some fresh raspberries, and then these are like fruit snacks. Doritos, there's some Ritz crackers in there, cheese crackers. Oh, and my little dessert. Oh, just fell out ready for me. This is my first time my car has seen a parking garage. She'll get to see all her friends and talk throughout the day to other cars. Y'all wanna back in? Let's see if we can back this sucker in. I got this rear view camera, but I don't know if I trust it yet. We're doing it old school. Hold on, we're gonna need to do that again. We are way too far away. Oh, let's hope that woman ain't in her car. That was a close one. Well, these are tight spots. We're in a parking garage. Ooh. Oh my god, I have so much. Hold on. Third time's the charm. I didn't realize I had so much room on my side. That's better. That wasn't bad. What's up, fam? I just got off work. It's four o'clock. But I have something to sell from <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. So I gotta go to the ATM first because she's paying with cash. It may be too late by the time I say this, I don't know, but Target is selling an iced coffee maker if you guys like iced coffee as much as I do. And it's $30 comes with a free giant tumbler and either French vanilla or vanilla syrup. Oh, look at the trolley bun. I, mean, I used to ride the trolley to work. Ooh, take a left. Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. What are we trying to do? We need to hit a SunTrust, a Target, and then a Food City. <laughs> we have 40 minutes to do all of that. Holy crap, y'all. I got my order shipped to the wrong Target. <laughs> We can't get that coffee maker. All right, guys, first stop, ATM to get change for my sale today. All right, y'all, I got the change. Now I'm gonna try and get some gas. So my gasoline's on the driver's side, so I just had to remember that. Filled up the tank for less than 20 bucks. And I got a bigger tank on this sucker. I actually brought my unicycle to work today, and this lady was gonna meet me at my workplace to buy it, but she ended up canceling today. She's gonna try again tomorrow. 4.35, I'm 10 minutes early. She's about to be here. Let's hope I don't get kidnapped. I feel like a really bad example. It's not the safest to sell anything to random people off the internet by yourself. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm kind of what you would call a low-key professional. <laughs> not really, it's definitely dangerous. This is just run errands with Heaven Day. We're gonna go get my iced coffee maker. So I went inside Target, went to the customer service, and they looked up my order or whatever to pick up and said, your order is not ready yet. And I was like, oh, and I was just assuming it was same day pickup. It's not. <laughs> Check your emails on when your order's ready. Don't just show up expecting it to be served to you on a silver platter. It's now 9.15. I've just been editing this vlog that you guys are watching right now. And then I just watched some Gilmore Girls for about 45 minutes. I watched an episode. Just been relaxing for a little bit. But now it's time to head up to bed and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. It's 6.20. I'm going to try and leave by 6.30 to get to work by 7. I'm making my coffee if you can't hear it. And yeah, the only thing I think I have planned today is this roundup thing that the office is doing. They're taking random people in really small groups from every division that we have and kind of letting them co-mingle with each other for this like meeting thing. It's like a social and it's only like 30 minutes long, I think. But that's random and I have it today. I don't know anybody in my roundup in my group so new faces yay all right you guys not a bad day it was a really good day got a lot done i just really appreciate my co-workers a lot and i feel like i take them for granted especially when i hear about you know when people are in stressful audits or people they don't get along with or being bullied and we've all experienced that at some point but <sighs> I'm just very grateful for my audit team because they are just amazing. You know, the job isn't always going to be unicorns and daisies. Like, there's going to be tough parts no matter how much you love the work. And I just came out of a really tough audit. And I don't think I would make it all the way through and still have a smile at the end if it wasn't for my amazing co-workers. There's our Knoxville icon. <sighs> Y'all just made it to the Target. And I think I left my face mask at work. <laughs> we are not driving all the way to this Target three times. So we're gonna have to get creative. This is 2020. I don't even, it's a new car. I don't even have stuff in here to like, I'm not about to cut my sleeve off. How do I leave work without a mask on? Is it in my pocket? Oh, you guys, 
false alarm. We don't have to be Martha Stewart starting it and stuff. All right, guys, all of that effort for this coffee maker. And I actually forgot I was supposed to get a free syrup, but it's fine. I don't want to go back in there. So yeah, I get to make my own iced coffee. I can't wait to see how good it is. And while I was there, there was nobody in line at Starbucks. So I got a little decaf iced coffee while I bought an iced coffee maker. Well, I dropped my camera about five minutes ago and I'm so afraid that it's broken. So I haven't picked it up. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Y'all want real footage of this? What? <laughs> this will be trippy in the vlog. <laughs> also, yeah, I've got random bugs here and there. They keep me company. All right, y'all, it's almost seven and I just got out of the shower. So I'm gonna run to the grocery store and get some coffee syrup and some more coffee grounds for my iced coffee maker. We're gonna test it out tomorrow, so hopefully it's good. Y'all, what coffee do I want? There are so many options. Y'all, I couldn't decide, so I just got some of everything. Also, I spontaneously got my flu shot because usually I get all worked up and I get all nervous. Got my flu shot. I surprised myself and got my flu shot. I'm so proud of myself. Making some ice coffee in my coffee maker. Y'all, I'm filming a video for social media so you can see it wherever I decide to post it. You guys are probably like, why is she not at work? Hey y'all, it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna hurry up and edit this little video <laughs> up on wherever I'm putting it, Instagram, TikTok, something like that. So I'll go to work a little later, but this won't take long at all. Ignore my creepy face, but we're exporting and it is 7.12. Right guys, it's 7.15. I'm going to head off to work. I should get there by 7.45. Traffic may be a little heavier, but because of Corona, I don't really think so. <sighs> 4.15. It's now the weekend. Honestly, I am very mentally drained. I was very focused for literally the entire day. I need to like regroup. My brain feels fried. But it was honestly such a good week. Something that I've taken for granted before coronavirus, a lot of things. One is just having energy and motivation and drive and inspiration. All of these things I feel like I have just really lacked lately in the past few months both in my personal life and in my work life and I'm just thankful this week that I was very motivated I got a lot done I had my drive back anyways I'm so glad it's Friday I did not end up getting 10 hours of overtime like we were supposed to this week I got six I worked 43 and a half hours 37 and a half is a full week for us. So because this vlog is probably already ridiculously long, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. I, you won't miss anything later today. I, it's gonna be a pretty lame Friday. I'm gonna actually meet up with a high school friend to sell her some things that she wanted from my room that I showed you guys on Monday. And then I'm gonna edit this vlog and hopefully have it up tomorrow morning. That's the goal. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment below if you have any questions or any comments. And I, I read them all. I don't always get to reply to all of them, but I do see them. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.